Two days ago, there was a release with a company's library saying that they are deprecating multiple libraries, like a system UI controller, theme adapters, pager indicators, web view, and a placeholder. So why is that? Why deprecating those useful libraries that are used by a thousand developers? And what should we do now to migrate away from those libraries as well? To answer the first question, we need to dig up a little bit deeper into the reason why this library was created in the first place. The key reason for a company's early existence was the Android X limitation on experimental API usage across different modules. A company's library is some kind of a support library for Jetpack Compose, which primary goal was to add some additional features that are commonly required by developers. The goal of this library was also to upstream its libraries into the official Compose toolkit, making a company's obsolete eventually, which means that a company's library has an expiration date. Now, about the second question, how can we migrate away from those libraries? Well, with the new release, they have also published a blog post explaining uh, how you can migrate away from those libraries and uh, what are the alternatives. So this is the blog post that they have published uh, two days ago. And down below, they have also mentioned uh, what kind of libraries they are going to deprecate. Now, those libraries will remain in a deprecated state for uh, two Compose Boom releases, and then they will be removed completely. Also, there are uh, two more additional libraries that are uh, considered as a feature complete and will not have any new features developed, like the drawable painter and permissions. Then down below we can read uh, some more information about those uh, deprecated libraries and how we can migrate away from them. So here for the system UI controller, they say that the primary use case was to make it easier for the edge-to-edge -edge cases in Android. But now that this library is uh, deprecated, we should use the activity enable edge-to-edge. Also, they have mentioned that uh, the system UI controller uh, library was uh, quite useful in uh, changing the system bar colors, and that uh, if we want to migrate away, then we should use now a new activity enable edge to edge uh, method, which is available in the Android X activity package with a version of 1.8.0 alpha 03 and later. The second library that was deprecated was the material theme adapters, and the whole purpose of this um, a library was to assist developers with the migration to a Compose. So this library was used to convert an XML theme to a Compose theme. But um, since there is also one uh, tool which is called Material Theme Builder, now we don't have to use this library anymore. And this uh, tool is available on uh, m3.material.io slash theme builder. And from here you can just select the custom uh, tab from there. You can customize your actual uh, theme colors and then you can export your uh, theme as a Jetpack Compose. And from there you can copy all your uh, colors into your own project. So quite easy. Uh, then after that we have a uh, uh, pager indicators and the uh, placeholders and the uh, web view uh, libraries. And here they have said that um, now that the Compose is stable, with a robust set of uh, APIs that make creating uh, custom widgets uh, far simpler than uh, in the past with the uh, view system, uh, they have decided to no longer add the support uh, or their own uh, custom set of widgets in the company's library, which includes those uh, same uh, components that we can see right here. So Compose makes implementing your own uh, custom widgets uh, quite easily. And the main problem that they have with implementing custom widgets is that uh, they need to support enough customizations for everybody. So when you implement the widget by yourself, you can implement uh, just what you need and nothing more, which uh, greatly simplifies the implementation itself. Another reason uh, why they are no longer supporting custom widgets libraries in a companist is that they do believe that uh, by having the accompanist, they are deterring the community from uh, developing their own custom sets of widgets. So if you still want to use those uh, same widgets, you can also check out their uh, repositories on GitHub and just uh, fork their uh, implementations. And finally, down below, we have um, a section about this uh, drawable painter and the permissions library. So this uh, drawable painter uh, library will most likely never be upstreamed in the official Compose Toolkit. And when it comes to the permissions library, they are still evaluating how to best handle the Android permissions and Compose at the platform level. So this permissions library is not yet being deprecated, and they have also said that they will not uh, update uh, and develop new feature in this library, but they will keep uh, fixing any critical issues that uh, may appear. And there you go, so that's uh, everything uh, I wanted to share with you in this video. So now you understand um, the reason behind uh, deprecating those uh, companies' libraries. And now you know how you can actually migrate away from those um, uh, same libraries as well. 
So be sure to comment down below and let me know uh, what you think about this uh, recent deprecation in uh, Accomplice library. And of course, don't forget to like this video, but only if you find it helpful. For this video, that will be all.